Hello, this is Landon from Design Visionaries, and in this video I'm going to show you the Align and Lock Constraint. The Align and Lock Constraint is a new constraint added to NX9, and what it does is it allows you to align a component up to a vector, and not only does it align it to that vector, it locks the rotation of that vector. For instance, I have this uh, assembly here, and it may just be a portion of a greater assembly, and it has these little um, parts that need to be fixed, these right here. I do not want these to rotate. When I spin this handle here, you can see that they rotate with it. Now, I could go as far as uh, putting a line in and do an angular constraint to prevent that, but there's a much simpler way now thanks to the align and lock constraint. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete the existing constraints I have to show you how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this constraint and we're going to pick this one and go ahead and delete it as well. So now I have these part files here that are not constrained. And I have this here. So what needs to happen is I'm going to pick Align and Lock. And what I want to do is I want to align, I want to align this center axis here with the center of this. But I'm going to use a frame since the frame doesn't actually rotate, I want to use this guy here. So face and housing right there. And what that does is that locks down onto this vector and prevents it from rotating. Likewise, I could lock it to this rod and force it to rotate, which could be handy if I had a lot of parts that were constrained elsewhere. It might not actually rotate with the handle if I turn it but a line and lock will allow me to basically lock this vector to the rotation of the component it's locked to. It will not move, it will stay with it. So now, if I were to turn this handle, as you can see, it spins around. The other part's spinning around a weird axis because it still has a constraint of touch, I believe, on this guy here, or a distance. I'd have to look into it. I believe it's a distance see here yes so if I did want this to lock to that I could pick a line and lock I could choose this center line and this center line and that will align it to the rod here now if I were to spin this you'll see that one will spin and one won't now this is forever locked to this axis rotation so as I spin this this will stay with it the whole time and that is basically how the align and lock works uh, to fully constrain though you still need to put at least a distance or touch uh, constraint on the component as what it does is it will line it up to the vector and lock its rotation and then to fully constrain it you just simply need to add one more constraint to control its position for this I will use distance could pick this face and this face, move it around, and now this component is fully constrained. And that is a bit of a shortcut than what I would have to do before making some extra geometry just to get something to either rotate or not rotate uh, depending on the situation. Again, this is Landon Ritchie from Design Visionaries, and this was the Align and Lock Constraint. For more tips, tricks and tutorials check our website out at nxtutorials.com you can also check us out for training and more videos at designvisionaries.com thank you